Hey there, friends. I have a really encouraging word today. Um, we're going to talk about give us this day our daily bread <laughs> and how that means more than just your food for today or your provision for today. Um, let's pray a second and then we'll jump right in. So Lord, um, thank you so much for the opportunity to get into your word together. Lord, um, we open our hearts to your Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, you're the best teacher. And so we're just asking you to teach us today from the word. Let it become revelation. Let it become uh, just like an explosive light on the inside of us, Lord. And um, let us put it into practice, Lord, and see the fruit that comes from your word. Uh, as it always, always does, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. All right, so let's first, um, you know, actually, I don't know if I have the scripture here. I don't. In Luke 11, um, Jesus is teaching his disciples. They're like, Lord, teach us to pray, and then he gives them the Lord's Prayer. And in the Lord's Prayer, as you know, he says, um, pray this way, give us this day our daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread. And uh, daily bread, we often talk about it meaning provision for that day or whatever it is that you're asking God for for that day. Maybe it is peace for that day. Um, give us this day our daily bread, what you need um, to live your life for that day. Uh, it does mean provision. It does mean um, the the actual physical needs that you have. It does mean also um, bread is God's word, right? His word is known as um, the bread of life, right? And Jesus himself is known as the bread of life, which I want to focus on today um, because daily bread also means healing. I'm going to explain it to you in just a second. So bread, give us this day our daily bread. Bread is something that sustains your life. Like in the natural, when you eat something, it's going to sustain you. It's going to give you strength. It's going to give you energy for that day. What you have need of, the provision that you need to sustain your life, your spiritual life and your physical life for that day. Um, bread is also, like I just said, the, the, the bread of life. That is a picture of Jesus. When Jesus was about to go to the cross, he had, uh, the last Passover with his disciples. And he said, this bread is, this is my body. This bread represents my body broken for you. My body is broken for you to have healing for your brokenness to be made whole. And, that is what I want to focus on today is the fact that every single day you can pray for and expect healing, uh, any brokenness to be healed because the daily bread that you're praying for is Jesus's body broken for you, for your healing. Little by little, every single day, there is healing for each day. Um, the reason I know that this also means healing First of all, because Jesus said, this is my body broken for you. That's what bread represents. But also healing is the children's bread. Healing and freedom is the children's bread. And I'm going to show you from Mark 7 when um, a lady came to Jesus and she wanted healing for her daughter. Okay. So starting at verse 25. Um, just a second. Yeah. Uh, verse 20, Mark 7, verse 25, and I'm reading it in the NIV right now. In fact, as soon as she heard about Jesus, a woman whose little daughter was possessed by an impure spirit came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, not a Jew, not a Jewish person. She was born in Syrian Phoenicia. She begged Jesus to drive out, drive the demon out of her daughter. And Jesus said, first let the children, the children of God, eat all they want, for it's not right to take the children's bread and toss it to the dogs. Now, he is referring to the healing she's asking for, for her 
daughter. She's not a Jewish person, meaning she is not uh, one of God's children, right? But Jesus is saying, well, first let the children, God's children, eat the bread um, because healing is the children's bread. Is that what he's referring to? Like the healing you're asking for, the freedom you're asking for for your, your daughter, that is, is the children's bread. And then it goes on to say, as you know the story, Lord, she replied, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crumbs. And then he told her, for such a reply, you may go, for the demon has left your daughter. And she went home, found her child lying on the bed, and the demon was gone. So this shows you that Jesus referred to healing and freedom as the children's bread. You are a child of God because you have asked Jesus to take over your life and take over your heart. You've surrendered your life to him and therefore healing is your bread too. It belongs to you as a child of the most high God. Uh, it's the children's bread. So let's go back to when Jesus said, teach us to pray, or when the disciples said, teach us to pray, and Jesus said, pray this way, our father, and you're talking to your father as his child, right? Healing is the children's bread, remember? Then you get to the part in the, in the um, prayer that says, Father, give us this day our daily bread. And I noticed the other day, Jesus was saying, saying this in a very matter of fact way. It was not a demand, but it's also not begging the father for bread. Jesus didn't say, oh, father, if it is your will, please could you spare a few crumbs of bread for us? Um, could you do something good for us um, today if it's your will? But if not, it's okay. He didn't say that, right? You, when you ask the Father for your bread, the bread of healing for today, then you are not begging him, but you're also not demanding him. You're not saying, give me this day my daily bread. You know, it's a very matter of fact request as a child of God going to your father who wants to give you good things, knowing that your father will supply your need. So when you need healing, pray this way. Because you can pray every single day. Um, Lord, I need a little healing today for yourself or somebody that you're praying for. Lord, um, Father, let a little improvement happen today. Let these levels in the blood increase today. Let these oxygen levels increase today. Let a little encouraging news come our way from the doctors today. Lord, let um, this person be able to eat without pain today, just for today. And you're not looking at the whole long-term healing, but you're looking at what God will do for you today. You're asking him for some daily bread, daily healing. And every single day, ask him for a, another increment, another improvement, another little bit of encouragement. Um, for example, somebody in our church family was recently in a life or death situation and um, in the hospital did not know if he would live or die. And, um, and doctors didn't really know the cause or the reason for it either. Um, but we all came together and we prayed and his family, his wife was praying and his kids were praying and we started praying some very specific things that like small things like, Lord, let there be some encouraging news today. Let these levels come up and let these other levels come down. And almost immediately after we prayed, we got the news that some of these levels were coming up. Not to where they had to be, but a little bit. And some of the other levels were coming down. So every day we prayed something specific. Continue, Lord, let these levels continue to come up and these levels continue to come down. And the different things that we knew for that day were needed. That was praying, Father, give us this day our daily bread. We just want some little improvements day after day after day. And we prayed every single day. And he made a miraculous turnaround over time, every day there was little improvements and little healing that was happening. 
And then, um, and now he is out of the hospital and he has, is recovering and has recovered. So, um, all, all glory to God for that. Right. But this is how you can pray every single day, a little bit every day, Lord, let there be healing over time. And remember, you're coming to him as his child asking for bread. And it says in Matthew 7, I'm going to read it in a minute, but Matthew 7 and also Luke 11, it says, if you, as God's, if your child comes to you, if you're a parent, I'm a parent. If your child comes to you and asks for bread, will you give him a stone instead? No, of course not. You as an earthly father or mother are able to give and want to give good gifts to your children when they ask you. How much more will our heavenly father give good gifts to you when you ask him? He wants to supply your daily bread. Only just ask. So remember, you're coming to him as his child. You're asking your father for something good, not something harmful, not something bad, not something evil. And he loves to supply your needs. So now let's look at Matthew 7 really quick. We're going to end with this. Matthew 7, 9 through 11. And I'll read that one in the NLT. Um, this is where Jesus is again saying, ask for bread from your father and he will give it to you bread being his body broken for you to have wholeness and healing um bread being whatever it is that you have need of today but i'm specifically talking about healing a little bit of healing just for today and then tomorrow you can pray for more <laughs> okay you parents if your children ask for a loaf of bread matthew 7 9 do you give them a stone instead or if they ask for a fish do you give them a snake of course not. So if you sinful people know how to give good gifts to your children, how much more will your heavenly father, your heavenly father who loves you with a huge, unconditional, unfailing love, how much more will he give good gifts to those who ask him? And that is you asking him, Father, give me this day my daily bread. Give us this day our daily bread of healing, of wholeness, of brokenness being made whole, of uh, freedom for this person that I'm praying for and deliverance. And just know <clears throat> this Matthew 7 part comes right after Jesus says, keep on asking, seeking and knocking because you will receive what you're asking for. So every single day, keep on asking, seeking and knocking. Keep on saying, Lord, there's a little daily bread I need for today. Just a little bit more healing today. And then watch an impossible situation. God begins to heal it. And he is the God of the impossible. He doesn't always do it immediate like that. But over time, as you keep praying every single day, Lord, bring healing today. Bring a little bit more healing today. And then the next day, a little more healing today, Lord. The next day, Lord, a little improvement today, a little more inflammation going down today in Jesus' name, a little more pain leaving the body now in Jesus' name, a little more of that infection leaving the body today in Jesus' name. And so over time, you will see the whole promise fulfilled and the complete healing come to pass. Uh, so I hope that encourages you guys. Let me know your thoughts on that. What do you think? And maybe you have some other thing, revelation on daily bread, what that actually means. Of course, it means so many different things, but in the context of what you need for today, just pray for that. And then tomorrow you can pray for more. So anyways, I love you guys. I hope that you are blessed by that.